Today is our last day in watercolor Florida and it is a cold day. It's about 50 degrees outside so we have to get creative because we can't do the beach today and we can't do the pool. What's the matter Colin? I want to go in the pool. But it's a cold day bud. Where are you in your swim suit? Suit? No, no, no. I want to go in the pool. We're not swimming cold. We're not swimming. It's cold. What do you have swim on? Shoot. Swim suit. Swim what is happening? I think I just got tricked. Yeah, How are the donuts, yeah, girls? Delicious. Yeah. Delicious. Today is our last day in watercolor Florida. We're here over spring break with another couple of families from our church group, and it is a cold day. It's about 50 degrees outside, so. We have to get creative because we can't do the beach today and we can't do the pool. So we're starting things off with some donuts. We were planning to eat our donuts on the beach, weren't we, Addie? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but why aren't we? Because it's too cold and windy. It's too cold and windy. So we're making things work and we're eating in the golf cart and the parking lot and they taste just as delicious here as they would have on the beach. What are we gonna do today if we can't go to the beach? Um, we eat donuts. Eat donuts all day? Mm -hmm. um, you're gonna jump in the pool when it's 55 degrees outside? Wow, you are brave, Ellie. Are you gonna drive us home, Ava? What's the matter, Colin? I wanna go in the pool. But it's a cold day, bud. But, but it's not, it's warm. It is. Why are you in your swim suit? suit? No, I'm, no, no. I wanna go in the pool. We're soon. not swimming cold, we're not swimming, it's cold. Oh, so cold. The pool's so warm. Are they crazy, Addie? They are going nuts. It's too cool. Yeah. Yes, it is. Go feel the pool. <laughs> I did feel the pool. I no, the pool. You I wanna, do you want to swim pool. too? She felt it earlier in the day. Right? <laughs> I so think cool. it's time for Uno. Addie, who's winning? Yeah, but Maya keeps getting attacked by Ellie, so. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got all your cards down now, Maya. I'm gonna yeah. win. What do you have swim on? Swim shoes. Swim shoes. You, you too. You sister. And then a swim shoe. I think you should have officially locked it. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, okay. now you're in your swim okay. shoes too. Okay. What's okay. happening? I think mine. I'm trying to get creative here and bringing out Uno, maybe playing some charades, but the kids really, really want to swim. I don't know if it's gonna happen. It is, what it see, 57 degrees outside right now. That is way too cold for swimming in my mind. Are we thinking about swimming now too, Colin? I was coming out here to feel how warm the water was for the kiddos and then everybody just jumped in. I guess we're swimming today. It is very warm. Yeah, I will give you that, but the air outside is not. Pool is heated, so it is actually relatively warm, but it is cold standing out here, so I'm definitely gonna need a blanket if I'm gonna be right here watching the kids swim. earlier that today is our last day in Florida which means we head back to Nashville tomorrow and when we get back we officially open our home to foster children we filmed a vlog earlier that we've already posted where we announced that and we just want to thank you for all of your love and support you have sent us since then um, I will say so many of you commented about you know 
how amazing we are that we're just saints and I just want to clarify because I feel like a lot of people don't get into foster care because they feel like they already have to have everything together they have to have the perfect family and that couldn't be further from the truth for us you know we do wake up every day and we pray that our words actions thoughts that they all honor and glorify God but let me tell you that we fall short every day too and despite that despite all of our shortcomings despite all of our imperfections we know that God called us into foster care and that he's gonna provide for us um, no matter how many times we fail and that he's gonna be there for us and through all the uncertainty through any anxiety experience he's got us he's gonna provide everything we need and so I just wanted to clarify that because I feel like if foster care is something that is on your heart if it's something that you've thought about if it's something you feel like you have been called to please don't feel like you have to have the perfect family you have to be the perfect parents and you have to have the perfect children to get into it because that could not be further from the truth you can love a kid and love them like your own then you can do it the kids are watching one of our old videos from a couple years ago and it's bringing back so many memories just hearing their little voices and it's just it's so special to rewatch these sometimes Well, they're finishing up the episode. I'm looking up a recipe to make sand pudding, something I found on Pinterest. I figured since we're at the beach, we might as well make a beach themed dessert. I promise you we did have some lunch today too. We didn't, we're not going straight from donuts to dessert. See measuring cups, Maya? No. I don't either, uh-oh. We can't find measuring cups in our rental house, so we might just have to do our best. What do you think up there? Oh, no, it looks like big bowls up there. Might, might get interesting. Think we can still pull this off without measuring cups? These are measuring cups. I think this is the only one we have, plus the teaspoon. <laughs> oh no. Yep, oh no is right. Well, without very many measuring spoons, we're gonna have to get creative. We need two thirds cup of powdered sugar, so we're gonna fill up a little less than three of these one fourth cup spoons. Gonna have to use our math today. Yep. <laughs> Maya, now we need two and three fourths cup of milk with our one fourth cup measuring spoon. It's gonna require a lot of pours. How many pours will it take, you know? Two? Two pours will be half a cup. So if we need two and three four. fourths, four is for one cup. Four and so we're gonna need eight for two cups plus three more, so 11. 11 scoops of milk. This is what do you think, Ellie? Does it look good? It's gonna turn into a beach in a cup. A beach in a cup. It smells good. This yeah, this is delicious. pudding. <laughs> You can lick this food. <laughs> I lost my helpers. Mm. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Next, to make our sand cups, each kid's gonna get a cup, and we're gonna layer in some sand, which is just crushed Oreos. We have the golden Oreos and a couple chocolate Oreos in there. Then pudding, sand, and then pudding, and then we're gonna put some fun stuff on the very top of the sand. The last layer of sand. This looks like real sand, doesn't it? Does that look like real sand to you? Yeah. It does, doesn't and it? And that's mine. Yeah! <laughs> We got another helper down here, and now that our beach cups are filled, we have sand at the top. We're gonna use fruit by the foot to Ooh. cut cute little beach towels out. And then we're gonna put teddy grams, which are gonna be sunbathing on our beach towels. Oh, those are gonna be fun? Yes. <laughs> Put your teddy gram on the beach towel. Want a teddy gram, Ellie, for your beach towel? Check them out, look what Maya's showing you. Is that cool, Brio? Yes, yes. Would sinking. you like one? I made mine sink in the sand. Did, oh no, it's quicksand. In the picture they had cute little umbrellas in these two, but I couldn't find umbrellas at the store, so we're gonna do without. I still think they turned out pretty cute and hopefully they're just as tasty as they are 
cute. Playing Who's in taking the, sand. the first bite? And you have first bite it. yet? I'll take the first bite. I All don't right. want this. You don't have to eat your Teddy Graham if you don't want to. That's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you no. think, Maya? Thumbs up. What about you, Brielle? Good. How's your beach cup, Addy? Amazing. Ellie? I like, I like, I don't get the top. You're eating the top? Yum! So, Ellie and Brielle, how do we know each other? Church group. Church group. We are part of the same church group. We, it's called a community group, actually, and we came down here to Florida together with their family and another family from our church. And actually, in just a little bit, we're going to be getting together with some other friends that we know from church that just happen to be in the watercolor area as well. And we're going to do something really special and really exciting, and we haven't done this before, so I'm excited to check this out. So it's coming up next. We are at Shard Shop, which is an art studio, I believe in Grayton Beach. We've never been here before, but they have these incredible glass art projects that the kids can create. So they've each picked out a stencil and they're getting ready to receive some instruction on how to create this beautiful masterpiece. I'm gonna be making an angel. An angel, I love it. I'm making a cross. Ooh, very nice. We have our friends here now, don't we? Who do we have here? Scarlet, and we've got Delaney, and Violet. Hi, girls. What color are you gonna make your angel, Maya? Um, so I'm gonna make the wings clear, clear. and then so the dress. Color. The dress is gonna be like two colors. Where it would be this, and then that like bluish, light blue, Ooh, white that'd thing. Ooh, that's pretty. And you're working very meticulously over here. I'm trying to get all the pieces to fit together, and it's working so far. They're currently working on laying all the glass bits onto their stencil, onto their canvas, and then overnight they pour, I think, a resin they said on it. So they're not gluing anything down, but a resin is poured on it tonight, and we'll be able to pick up the creations tomorrow. I'm checking out some of the creations that have already been made over here, and some people have gotten really creative. This wave is cool. It's got a pretty western lake scene. American flag is neat, and look, <laughs> it's like a pufferfish. Finished product. Here is its finished. Let's see. That's like more Oh, tell me about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I love the angel. You put all sorts of pretty little knickknacks yeah. on here, didn't you? I put some flowers. This is a flower, yeah. some, and here's like a seashell. Seashell border. Action. And then this is just for decoration. Delaney's finished hers. You have like a cross with a beautiful ombre pattern going on. It looks very beachy. Right, thank you. <laughs> I love it. And Scarlett's got a mirror with a beautiful frame. <laughs> Thank you. I like the color choices you chose. Thank you. <laughs> Violet and Addie have chosen to put pearls around their cross. It's proven to be quite a detailed process, but they both look amazing. What are your favorite pictures you see up here? Probably the guitar. You guys both one. like the guitar? And really cool. um, this is my second favorite. What is it, Maya? Oh, that is a so cool, more of an abstract. My second favorite's probably this one. Here. I like that too. That was one of my favorites, Violet the Wave. That is very cool. Did you go have a good time creating your art pieces? Yes. Yes, I bet they're gonna be beautiful. That looks so good. And Addie's officially done. Let's see, Addie. Ooh, I love it. Yours and Violet look so similar. I love them. So cool, girls. Well, we had a pretty good day for a cold day at the beach, didn't we? Yes. Ready to head home tomorrow? No. No? <laughs> But we have something to look forward to. What are we doing? We are going to foster when we get home. That's right. We are so excited to show you our journey as a foster family, again, for the second time. Yes. And we hope we just kind of bring some awareness to foster care, and we just can't wait to share our experience with you. We won't be able to share or show any children we bring into our home because, of course, 
that's their story, it's their life, it's not for us to tell. But we just hope that we can help you learn more about foster care and what it's like to be a foster family. Mm -hmm. Ready for this girl? Yes. All right, thank you so much for watching. What do we say, Addie? XOXO. XOXO.